Hi everyone, in this video, I will demonstrate how to download one day and one month GPM iMERGE precipitation final run data from NASA GESDISC website. These data are 0.1 by 0.1 degree spatial resolution products. So after download those of data, I will open them on ArcGIS platform considering available format to open for the NetCDF data. So in this screen, you can see the NASA GESDISC website. You can easily find this site from the Google search engine with the keyword of NASA GESDISC. Okay? So in here, you can see this Explorer data collections. So I will use my keyword with iMERGE. So I would like to download one day iMERGE final run as well as one month iMERGE final run. Okay, so I will use this keyword with iMERGE on this box and then press this search button. After that, you can easily find this final run data. So this first one would be half hourly data. So we already covered from the previous series of the videos. Okay. So in this video, I will alternatively download this uh, one day iMERGE final precipitation as well as this one month iMERGE final precipitation. All these data are version 6 algorithm they used. Okay, so firstly, I will click this one. This link, you can go to this data page. This would be iMERGE final precipitation level 3, one day 0.1 degree by 0.1 degree version 6 data. So you can see the details of this data. If you want to see more, you can expand all of the details for that. So on here, you can also see this data with a full size image. So you can see with this image. And on here, I will use this button, subset and get data. So if you will click this one, you can see this interactive window. So on here, you can see all the data size related with this one day iMERGE final run precipitation. On here, I will select some of method and options and format for downloading the data. So if you expand this download method, you can see these three options. So this just one would be original files without any subsetting, but I will use this one. Get file subsets using GESDISC subsetter. Okay. After that, you need to choose method options. So firstly, refine dates range. So I will download these data with 2020 October 1st and October, the end of October for my data range. And also I would like to refine my reason to select this data to subset. So on here you can see the map, so you can expand with mouse scroll, so on here I will subset this Korean Peninsula area, like this one. So after that you can see the subsetted reason with the coordinates. And also you can see this checked geospatial subsetting. Okay. After that, I will choose these variables to download. Actually, I need only this precipitation calibration. This would be precipitation estimates with gauge calibration. So I will download this one. 
precipitation CAL data only with the variables. Okay. After that, you can see this grids. So I will not use this option. And also, only just one format this NetCDF is available. Okay. After that, please review all the subsetted data like this one. And then you can submit with this get data button. So if you click this one, you can see the result on this box. Okay. So you can see these all the available link on here. So actually I downloaded 31 data set with the daily data. So you can see this subsetted NetCDF format data. Also you can uh, download each clicks of this data. All the each clicks of these data like this one. So you can see the downloaded data on here. So if you have lots of data to download, you can see the these instructions for downloading. So if you have not yet ready, so basically this need the account for downloading this data. Actually, I already the login this uh, us data NASA us data web page. So. I don't need to again to login, but if you don't have any ID for this site, you should create your account for the us data. Okay. And then you can find this download list of link. After that, you need to instructions for the WGAT. So if I click this one, I can download this uh, the list of links, all these uh, links with the file, text file. After that, if you click this double get, you can see the NASA provided easy way to download with this double get using. So I will not cover how to download the data using this WGAT. So because this is very straightforward to follow. Okay. So now I will go back to the previous web page to download the one month's data. So I will go back to here. So you can see this one month's data. For the IMAG final precipitation, so I will click this one. So again, you can see this detail, the descriptions of this data set, as well as this full screen with the image. So I will use this subset get data button to find the data. On here, you can see download method. So if we expand this one, I will again select get subsets using GESDISC subsetter. Also, I would like to choose my refined date range with the same 2020 October 1st and end of October. Okay, just one month data I would like to select. After that, just listen. I don't want to subset, but I would like to subset the variables. So on here, different from the daily data, this monthly data have this one. Precipitation. Precipitation estimate with gauge calibration. It doesn't have a CAL extension, so I just click this precipitation and also just leave as a default this grid. And you can only choose this NetCDF data. Okay, so I will press this get data button. After that, you can see 
this result, this only one data is available to download. So you can directly download with this click, this one month data. So again, if you have the bunch of download data, you need to use this double gap. So this is very, very effective to download the bunch of data, the multiple data, okay? So I safely downloaded this monthly data from this data link, okay? So I would like to close this one. So if you can see on this side, you can see the history I already made to complete uh, this uh, one day I merge data as well as one month I merge data. Okay? So in this video, I have made demonstrations for downloading one day and one month uh, GPM iMerge precipitation final on data from NASA GESDISC website. And I will open all the downloaded data using ArcGIS application program for the following part 2 video. Thank you for watching.